I think the first question to ask is that there's a time to use agents and not to use agents, by the way. I think there's a tendency to sort of like, I need to, because it's the thing right, du jour right now, I got to get agents and so forth. Agents are very, very complex. Uh, they're actually problems when you actually, there's a lot of issues around, they're compute intensive. You need to write, make sure you have the right computing infrastructure to run these things. They're going to run on a lot of GPUs. So there's like practical limitations around them, the feedback mechanisms and so forth. I would say that I begin with understanding the, 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 the most pressing tasks that you need to run. So for example, let's say I <clears throat> have a company and I take any sort of company where, for example, it's a software company or it's an e-com it's an e-commerce company, or let's say you have a foundation. Perfect example. Let's take a foundation. Okay, you're a nonprofit. Okay, you can basically say you're applying for all these grants. The first thing I would actually have an agent do is actually would have an agent that will scour all of the databases of all the different grants and RFPs. Take that. Compare that, compare that to my the URL for my fund, my company, my nonprofit, and basically said, scan all the content on all the content you know about my 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 nonprofit, and then I want you to then go out there and go and find all of the grants that have a high match to this. Then agent number two is once it find those, I want you to go and then rank them. Then I actually want you to then go and then write the grants for all of them. And when you write the grants for all of them, send those grants for me for me to then review. See that? It's a very, like, just take the actual, and, and the tools you could use for this, you have Langchain is a very popular tool for going in there and setting up the different agents that you want around. Now, the thing you have to be mindful of is that the agent that you develop has to connect to an underlying large language model and an API to first, but I would start very simple. Choose one thing that you need, have it work, then extend upon that. We have limited time, so I can't go into the whole orchestration, but that's basically what I would do is to understand something that, that you really need to have happen. Uh, that's not like mission critical in terms of it has financial liability if you get it wrong, right? Like I wouldn't give it a fraud detection algorithm of an e-commerce company overnight because it's too complex if it gets it wrong. But there are other perfunctory tasks and then you start working your way there.